Hello and welcome to Straight Out of Savannah Talking with Tammy. I am so excited because my guest Janikra Sims is here with me. She is an amazing high priestess and now it's time for her to share about her. Take it away, Shanikra. Yes. <laughs> I am so happy to be on here with you. Um, my name is Shanikra, the High Priestess Guide, and I be, um, I'm a natural healer. I'm ordained by spirit to be a high priestess. Um, I do spiritual teachings, spiritual guidance, and also I'm on YouTube, Shanikra the High Priestess Guide channel, and I also have Spiritual Awakening, where I help you go through the process of getting to your spiritual awakening. Um, I'm also on Instagram, um, at Shanikra the High Priestess Guide, on Instagram, and then also I have um, some Facebook groups. <laughs> I have um, Shanikra, you know, the Spiritual Cleanse X, um, the High Priestess Guide. I have also Get Connected, the Spirit, and I also have Spiritual healing message where we can um you can get spiritual readings from me and a couple of other readers miss <laughs> and miss from her too you can get on there as well and i have a spiritual coach on that one as well she's um a spiritual coach and we are going to be you know bringing people in and help get some healing going on uh for the people but yes i i was born and raised in far rockaway queens new york and now i'm here in north carolina so so far um yeah i'm a grandmother mother <laughs> and everything so far that that's that's what i'm i'm here i'm a, I'm a healer spiritual teacher guidance everything like that <laughs> That is super exciting. That is super <laughs> exciting. All right. So now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of it. So Shanikra, tell me about your journey. Tell me how you came to become a high priestess. Um, tell me um, just the steps in your journey and not particularly, you know, they don't have to be in any order, but just, mm -hmm. you know, how you came to know that this was where you were supposed to be. Well, actually, I knew as a child that I was able to connect with spirits. And I knew I had like what you call the Joseph. I had dreams. Spirits will come to me in the dreams and communicate with me. So really young, I was very active. But then when um, I got a little older, I got kind of sidetracked it off my gift, got into you know, life stories, life things, but I still would practice it some, but not fully. I knew, I would kind of knew when I get the warning about something, they'd be like, what? How you know? Yeah, I'll get the warning about stuff, but I wasn't fully letting people know because of um, different religious purposes and stuff. So I kind of kept it in <laughs> a little bit, but I knew that I can do it. And as I got older and really got rid of a lot of negativity, um, bad relationships, all that out of my life, it just, boom, open up more spiritual awakening boost. Like within a couple these past couple of years, I have like, I never knew I would read the tarot and Oracle. And the spirit told me, had led me to this um, YouTube that was a tarot thing. And I'm like, I usually don't watch it. I usually don't. Started watching it. I hear spirit say, you're going to get a deck. From there, it just, boom. All the stuff that I used to do that I knew I had it in me, it came out. The high priest, they said, you are high priestess. And I said, What? I knew I was medium, but I didn't know I was a high priestess. I, kind of, I already knew I was a medium. I just didn't, you know, I like people knew. And it once I did that, it was just ongoing from there. I, the spirit leads me to my next point. I learned how to listen. That's what is the key. I learned how to listen. And once I listen, I've been led to the right path. 
once I listen to spirit and say, yeah, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This, and, and you can't care about what anybody say. You got to listen to your spiritual team because that is your path. I am sorry. I had to write that one down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> write that down because um, I don't know if you realize, but when I do these interviews, I think it's so amazing. And one of the reasons I love them so much is that I learn from every single person that I talk to. I learn something. And I, I think it's just, it's great. And because I'm a, a lover of learning, you know, it, it's just amazing that regardless of even how similar our um, experiences are, I still yeah. to learn from each and every person. So, you know, I, I, I sit down and I write out nuggets too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that, so it's like I'm in a course, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's always good to do that, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. So when you, um, all right, so what is the person that you typically work with? I mean, do you typically work with women, okay. with men, with people? Well, it can, it, it can be anybody. Um, the spirit, I can be out and about and would give people messages because I can do messages, you know, without the tarot and oracle. I'll be out there. So you don't need no cards. Yeah. You, you have a message for that person. Yeah. You have a message. And I'll be like, do this make sense to you? Or I'll tell them and they'd be like, what? Yeah. I, yeah. There's been time I've been on the phone with people. Now I'm supposed to be making an appointment, but in the middle of a, making an appointment, here we go. Spirit, um, you, you got to tell this person. I said, oh Lord, uh, they don't know me. They don't know me. Spirit, they don't know me. <laughs> I'm like, so I said, okay, let me tell. And you know, when I tell them, they be, they feel so much better and it, it, it makes you feel better that you was able to assist somebody. Yes. So that's why it's like you got to listen to spirit. Yeah. And also, because I almost forgot, you know, I'm also featured on another YouTube called Healing Waters. And I do pick a card there. Um, I do, you know, a lot of um, energy. Some people love that. They love to pick their own energy. So I do the pick a cards on the Healing Waters channel. Okay. And that's like a healing channel as well. So, yeah. And I'm working on two events that's coming up as well. <laughs> that is like so much fire. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to get into this because I, as I was listening to you and this is how I do, I listen mm -hmm. and I, you know, hear and see what spirit wants me to ask you. Yes. Of course, that's why I, I love to have, you know, intuitive people. That's, that's usually my goal. And I try yeah. to keep people that are intuitive so that we can have an intuitive conversation. Yes. You know, cause I, I truly don't believe in, in those scripted ones. I like it to flow. So what I want to ask you is, um, what advice would you give to someone if they felt called to this path? Um, how to trust spirit, you know, how to know, that you know they are connecting what advice would you give well usually i believe the first thing you would get is your gut feeling letting you know that you need to do this journey and that you should embrace it embrace it because when you embrace it let me tell you when you embrace your gift you're going to find so much more about yourself that you didn't know before mm -hmm. And that's why I do promote people, listen to your inner voice, because that inner voice is telling you the right thing to do. It's telling you, hey, you have a bigger purpose than you know. And my advice is that, listen, okay? That's my big keyword, listen. Because when you listen, you won't go wrong. You won't go wrong on that path because um, don't let your, um, let's say your ego get in the way. Um, listen, because I know that some people have different, um, let's say views on spiritual stuff, but your spiritual path is who you are. That's who you are. So that's you embracing your higher self and who you are. And that's how you're going to become let's say 
powerful, courageous, you know, someone who's going to be able to make things happen rather than before. Because one, it's like you got rebirthed. Let's say you get rebirthed once you accept, you get rebirthed. Wow, that is powerful. <laughs> it really is because that, that brings up so many things. Um, <laughs> but, what I want, but what I want to ask you is, um, how did your spiritual transformation, let's call it, Mm -hmm. How did that um, differ from um, your religious background? How did how did you make that that um, that change? Well, actually, or actually, not even change um, evolution. Evolution, right? Because the I needed the background that I had because I had the background of Islam, Christianity. And I also looked into the Jewish faith. I looked in all three because spirit was leading me. And I always was listening to spirit in those direction because I was someone who was a prayerful person. I have been a minister, but spirit said, those are the things I needed to do so I can, let's say, connect to all people. Yes. Yes. That's, so that that's was it. why I had that journey to mm -hmm. connect. And I am able to connect with a lot of different people from different backgrounds. Yes, yes, that is that's powerful because um, that gives you an understanding. Yes, of where all these people are coming from. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's almost like um, like I say that I work with women, but mm -hmm. I work with anybody. Yes. But yes. I mean, I target women to work with because I know women. Um, and I, I'm not even particular about whether it's a woman of color. I don't care about that. <laughs> right. Right. That's true. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I mean, of course I love working with my people and all that, but I don't, I don't, I mean, I, that's not a, a criteria for me and the same thing. But like, like you said, once you have an understanding of all those different religions, then you oh, know yeah. where people are and you know what they're, you know, a lot of times you can even see their questions. You know what I mean? Yes. Because you can see, you know, you understand how um, their beliefs and stuff like that. That right. is awesome. That is so powerful. Um, I just, I'm loving this because <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fire and you dropped already so many nuggets and we're not even done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this girl right here, she is dropping the nuggets because I have... <laughs> Just written down, especially the listen part. Oh, yes. So what do you find um, when you do your work? Because you do sessions with people, right? Well, yeah, I have done a few people. And then some I have done just um, on a live, just doing a few people on the live coming in and mm -hmm. I'll give them the advice. And the thing is, it don't matter what that message is. I'll relay it rather it's something that they really need to look into because spirit is telling them that for a reason. Yes. Um, it, it could be, I, I have, you know, even before I full blown, when I was a minister, I even wrote and let this, this lady knew and she left her situation because I, I'm like, have a gift of speech. <laughs> I could tell at first I wasn't like that when I was younger, but Spirit's like, you're going to be speaking to a lot of people. You're going to be talking to a lot of people. So it's like, give them what they're supposed to hear. Don't sugarcoat it. Give them what they're supposed to hear. Yes, I, I completely agree. You and I are the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. know, tell them what they need to know. And even when I first started on this journey, I even was like, I would get the messages and stuff, or I would pull my card and I look at it and I'd be like, you, you want me to tell them that? <laughs> Yes, and because I'm a I'm not a sugar coating type of person anyway. You can tell yeah. I'm you know I, I'm going to tell you just like it is. And I, as the older I've gotten, the more I temper stuff. But I used oh. to be real raw when I was like in my twenties and thirties. <laughs> but it's like now I'm like, okay, wait a minute, let me think about this first, you know, or think about how I say it. So because I don't want to, I never want to. Um, 
make people feel bad. You know, I'm yeah. an empowerment um, yes. reader. So I, I need you to feel like it's something you can do, even though it might be something crazy for you, you know? But I need you to feel like, you know, you can make this transition. You can make this change. It's not um, too difficult, you know, because, yeah. you know, I don't know if you, you, you find this, but people a lot of times don't want to make the changes if, it, if they feel like it's hard. Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. they don't want to make them. <laughs> they yeah. Rather stay in, in the mud. Yeah. And it's like, like you're saying, stuck energy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so that, that is one of the things and I'm like, no. So for me, it's like, you know, I'm going to tell you and, and now I'm at a, at a place where I'm like, you know what, I don't care what it is. The spirit says me to, tells me to tell you. And now I'm at the place where I'm communicating with spirit and with my guides and saying, Hey, you know, I need this to be plain and clear for the people. Yes. This is my intention. Or, you know, when I do this work, I need it to be plain and clear because, you know, for me, I do a lot of things, um, email and, you know, I do a lot of email and messenger readings and stuff like that. So they oh, yeah. need to understand, you know, and I, I also, um, think about, you know, infusing the energy into that work. That's yes. the place I'm getting to now. It's like, okay, you know, because I realize, you know, like the Bible says, I know all things, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And I yes. laugh because it's an embodiment that I, you know, hope to bring to everybody, you know, that you know, that you, you really, you know, you are, you are God. Right. You know, and, the yes, thing, and it's true. not blasphemy to say that because people People tell you in a minute, religious people tell you in a minute, oh, no, 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 you blaspheming God. Mm -mm. You know, and it's not really right. Yeah, our main divine, holy one made us gods and goddesses because we are made in the image. See, we got the Genesis, but some of it was cut out. Hey, we are gods and goddesses because we're made from the image. So if we made from the image, guess what? We can create just like, but we're not the divine source, but we're part of that divine source. We're co-creators. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's almost like um, you got kids. Well, you didn't get them by yourself. Right. I mean, That's you, true. Yes. You, know, you had to have a co-creator. Exactly. But those it, kids can in turn still do the same thing that you do or even greater. Exactly. Because, that's, you know, Christ even said greater things you'll do. That's right. You know, so we, when we, when we put it into that um, perspective and we consider it like that, it's like, wow, I never thought about that, you know? Yes. Because we are destined and designed and supposed to do greater things. Oh, yes. So anyway, but I'm, I'm super excited. This has been um, such a, an eye-opening discussion. That's what I'm going to yes. call it. <laughs> like I said, you done dropped so many gems, girl. I wrote them down because, you know, I'm a writer. Writer, yeah. <laughs> I wrote them down and I'm like, dang, you know, I got to actually, you know, feel this. All right. So one of the last questions I always try to ask every guest is if you, if somebody came to you and they were on their journey. Mm-hmm what advice would you give them? Well, if they were on your journey, I would say have a mentor during this time. Like me, I actually awaken people's spiritual gifts. That's one of my gifts. I awaken their spiritual gifts. So I would be like that mentor, um, someone who's like me, that has fully awakened and they're able to pull you in. And sometimes some people need the baby food at a time, like feed as they go. Don't be too harsh, but let them come in as, and, and, and they're going to come in and be confident. It's just building the confidence to come in. But yeah, I would say definitely get a mentor that's 
really going to help you awaken your spiritual gifts. Girl, uh, that's good. That's good advice. I, yeah, I did not have one. Um, to be honest with you, I yeah. was looking for one and I, yeah. And I, I, I have them from afar. Yeah. <laughs> me, me, I it was just boom. Here you go. Just yeah. switch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it was like, boom. <laughs> yeah. Like this, this what you gonna do? (laughs) But yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I had them from afar, and you know, I still have them from afar. I just, you know, able to contact, you know, be in contact with a few. I just watch them, listen to them, see what they say, and you know, yes, share it and see where it goes from me or whatever, you know. But, but yeah, I I agree with that. I think that is amazing thing to do, and and it's one of the things I feel like I'm called to do too. But it's like, yes, um. I think spirit had to get me to a place where I could be patient with people because that it was an issue for me. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, and, and I realize now why, because of my human design, mm-hmm. um, my energy centers and stuff where they are and which ones are open and all that stuff. Cause I did, I actually did a session with a girl and that was, it was really good. And I learned a lot, you know, mm-hmm. and it, it really helped me to understand who I was you know, because yeah. I was, you know, I was a little bit hard on myself, you know, because I'm, you know, a, a recovering perfectionist, you know, as far as when I do work and stuff like that. And uh, so I had to just get to a place where, you know, I, I stepped into that divine masculine and really yeah. began to get in flow and stop fighting so many things. Because what I realized for me is I'm a fighter, just a natural fighter you know, and I'm a Scorpio too. So oh, I don't play okay. no game. Yeah. I don't take no yes. shit. You know? Yes. <laughs> yes. Water signs. Yeah. I, I get along with all water signs, but you yeah. Know? Yeah. I'm an air. Oh, I'm air okay. sign. So you, yes. Well, we need <laughs> air too, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I said sometimes the air, I said them fire signs, they fire, but sometimes the air might have to put you at Yes. You know what I mean? We sometimes got to put you, blow, blow it down, can get you calmed down because fire signs are something else. They are, woo! And then say, got the water that calms everybody. I was everybody. Gonna say, you got to be the perfect storm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the earth, hey, they ground us. They, they, they yeah. put us, they, yeah, they get us grounded. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. It's like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So anyway, I'm just so excited that we have had this amazing conversation. Shanika and I have enjoyed this immensely. As Abraham Hicks would say, I have enjoyed this interaction immensely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very it's good. Funny Very because good. Everybody that I talk to all knows that phrase. So, and so I was <laughs> like, I'm going to put that in the, in the podcast, you know, yeah. <laughs> because everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Abraham Hicks. I'm like, yeah. And you know, the <laughs> story about that is my grandmother um, was a pastor, preacher, teacher, evangelist, prophetess type. Okay. And um, she actually got her own church because the church would not allow her to be a pastor. They said as high, high as she could go up as like a missionary mother or something like that. Mm. Was that for like the diocese, a district or whatever. And right. So she, but she felt that God was calling her to pastor. Yes. So she did. She started her own church and, you know, we went to her church and stuff, but that was her thing. But she also was so far ahead of her time. People didn't even realize I knew because I lived with her mm-hmm. and I used to, I was her, her running buddy, you know, I used to hang out with her, you know, and she was the one that started recognizing gifts in me. I mean, they would have me laying hands on people at three years old. Oh, wow. For them to be healed and they would be. Ooh, yes. You know, and I, I, you know, shared with her that I used to see people, you know, dead. And like, you know, it was crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would see them like, say like if I was, I was, we were in your presence or something like that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, you know, cause I was a little bit of thing, you know, three, four, oh, five yeah. years old. So a lot of time I wouldn't know if they were sick or not or whatever, but then I would look at them and I would see them 
in the casket. And when we went to the funeral, they would have exactly the same thing that I saw them in the casket with. Oh, yes. Premonition. So as a child, you know, that scared the shit out of me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, who do you talk to about that? Right? Right. That's true. That so is true. I talked to my grandmother and she, you know, and it was wild because like I said, I told you she was a pastor, prophet, teacher, evangelist, all that stuff. And mm -hmm. so, but she was so progressive and she used to listen to Abraham Hicks. Hmm. I, even know, I didn't realize that until later. You know, <laughs> I remember her listening to this lady and she used to meditate. And I remember wow. that too. And you know, in them, them, them holiness churches. Oh yeah. They yeah. would, they would, they would, they would, they would preach the scripture about meditating on the, on the word of God and stuff like that. But I don't think they really knew what that meant. Right. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I had, I did have that, you know, and, and I think I'm thankful. And I know right now when I think about it, I said, I know that she's like in my team, my ancestors, you know, just pulling from me and rooting for me. And um, giving me, you know, even guidance from, from, you know, from the transition place. And I'm super excited about that because I know a lot of people didn't, weren't able to have that. You know what I mean? And I did until, oh, yeah. she, you know, you know, well, actually not, I was going to say until she left, but no, she's still, you know, with me and everything. Yes. But, um, I said that to say that I was so thankful to be able to have that, you know, because there are so many of us. Like you said, you, you re recognize that you have had those gifts from a child, but who the hell do you talk to if you don't have anybody that you can talk to about that stuff? Right, exactly. Because people yeah. be looking at you like you crazy. Yeah, that's true. You know true. what I mean? Yes. <laughs> it's that like, is... you did what? You talk to dead people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't really, yeah, you couldn't really, no. That was something that people... I don't know about that. I, mm -mm. They don't want to deal with that. They no, they don't. They don't because half the time they have had some an experience similar to that as well. Yes. And they're like, no, I, mm -mm. I, I just felt like I was crazy and I didn't want to deal with that. You know, and right. it, it's amazing when you talk to people and they start telling, sharing that kind of stuff. And, and then they look at you and, and they expect, I guess they want to get a rise in or whatever. They expect a different type of reaction. But to me, I'd be like, you know, I thought that was normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought that happened to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I really appreciate this conversation. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was straight out of Savannah talking with Tammy, with my guest, Shanique Sims, high priestess, yes. um, teacher, spiritual guide, mentor extraordinaire. So let the people know, and I, I know you told them a little bit in the beginning, but let mm -hmm. the people know where they can, um, they can connect with you. If they are looking for an amazing mentor, spiritual guide, um, teacher, or reading, um, whatever it is that you are offering, let them know how they can find you. Okay. Well, you actually can email me, um, the high priestess guide at gmail.com and you can also um, follow me on instagram where you can message me as well if you need to get in touch with me and that's at shanifra the high priestess guide um and then also i am on um youtube which is shanifra the high priestess guide um and also spiritual awakening and that has my email on those channels as well. And you can also, if you need to comment in, let me know if you need any spiritual guidance, teaching, readings, you can reach me. Cause that email, I always, I'm right there with that email. So yeah, that's the best way to get me is through that email. All right, that sounds good. And I'll definitely have her um, details in the, the description of this video. So that, yeah. way, you know, they'll be there as well as, you know, what she does, um, what she has offerings for and stuff like that. This way you can connect with her because she is such a beautiful spirit and she is an air sign, she says. 
Oh, and so. don't, you know what else? I have spiritual bath products, the anointing products. So that's coming, you know, I'm going to be putting that out there. So that's why on Instagram, you'll, you'll see my products. I'll, I'll have that on there as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm someone about spiritual cleansing. <laughs> That's what's up. That is yeah. what's up. So make <laughs> sure that you guys hit her up. Um, make sure that you go check her out on all her social media. She has how many YouTube channels? I have two. Two YouTube And I have a one I'm featured on, Healing Waters. Okay. So she's got yes. two of her own. And then one she's featured on Healing Waters. And I will actually put all those links in the description of the video this way you know you can contact her because i know it's hard to you know listen and write these things down and all that stuff. yes so i'll definitely have that for you so again shanikra thank you so much for joining me yes. uh, we have had the most amazing conversation Every yeah. time I do this, it's like each conversation is even more amazing. So I, yeah. I absolutely love this space. So again, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining me and we will get out of your hair right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you make so much. Sure, I was going to say, make sure you comment, uh, subscribe, share, and like this video. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye okay. now.